So this is the third monopod show where we talk about all things EUC and um, I guess I'll do the introduction. So we have flown in from Ulla, where are you? <laughs> you in Germany? I didn't even know. <laughs> Ulla? Yes, I'm in Germany. Okay. In so flown in from Germany is Ulla. Ulla, just describe very quickly a little bit about yourself for the for the guys on YouTube. Okay, just just a little bit. Um, original name is Ul. My nickname is Ul. Uh, a lot of people as yes. tech expert, I would say. Um, for example, the Mavericks call me Doc. I have been voluntarily working for King Song at well, it's it's a long time ago. I guess about two eighteen was when they released the eighteen L. First time, and uh, oh, that really made me left the scene for a while because okay. it's so poisonous, really. When you when you are uh, very much inflicted into the situation of bringing out a new wheel, all, all, all this test stuff I didn't learn myself. I learned it from some friends called Axstadt. That's a uh, German Oik, uh, you see, garage. Since 2014, they are working and pro they even produced batteries for the 9 watt E plus already. <laughs> All right, Uli, let's, um, let's, let's move this on. But so, uh, obviously, the King Song stuff is, is really pertinent to what we're going to talk about. So it's, it, it, it's amazing that you got that experience. And obviously, um, on our screen is top left, Mr. Wrong Way, Right Way himself, Adam. Hello. So, um, little introduction, Adam. Yeah, I'm riding wheels since, I guess, two and a half years now, or, or, or three years, something around that. Uh, I'm reviewing wheels on my channel on YouTube called Wrong Way. Um, for this episode, I'm kind of useful because I already had like eight cutouts. <laughs> uh, yes. And yeah, I also know Ole already for a while. I've been talking about technical stuff uh, about the UCs, and yeah, I guess from at the beginning of my I don't know journey with UCs, I was just like hype and everything. Um, everything UC is exciting, but now it's more like let, let's check what what already got, how safe it is, and just like promote safe riding. So that's like the general direction. Yeah. Okay, so well, us lot obviously we're PET. Um, introducing Vladimir. Hello, yeah. everyone. Oh. I'm, you know, like I get uh, all the fancy stuff to write and sell it to you. You know, uh, that's my job. Yeah. And basically. interestingly, the only man here who hasn't experienced a cutout. I'm assuming Ulla, yeah. you you have. Yeah. Yes. Ulla okay. has a cutout. Yeah. Ulla, yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, what was, yes, okay, fine. Self, really self All right, all right. So, well, I, for me, as, as they call me, I'm the EUC virgin. Touch wood. I don't want to change yes. it. So. <laughs> EUC cut out yeah, virgin. Can, so, Rob and me, that you, you know, you know, um, if you don't know who we are, then maybe go and review the other podcast and you'll find out. <laughs> uh, all right, so, uh, look, we usually do the news. So, let's rattle on through it because we've got a lot to cover. Um, okay, guys, I've been a little out the loop because of impending fatherhood. So tell me, um, Leaper Kim, veteran, I guess the Max has landed. The Max arrived, yes. The Max has landed. Yes. And, yeah, and uh, reactions have been pretty good, right? Yeah. Yeah, yesterday we got our shipment. So all the guys who had pre ordered, they so far had amazing impression of it. Uh, every big difference is uh, the pedals are much higher. Uh, obviously, yeah, there's much more torque, uh, it's very reactive, and uh, today I think they're all going on a critical mass on a big ride through London, so they're all going on that wheel. Okay. Yeah. Rob, what do you think about it? You've, you've ridden it. So, I ridden it a bit. Yeah, it feels the pedals. Solid. Clearance. The clearance yeah. is uh, welcome. Okay. Yeah. And I feel like the dipping still did, but it recovered faster. Okay. So it's not this slow recovering. From the old ones so not like the abrahams it felt like you were just Whoa. so other news um obviously um mm. the big news well actually the big news on veteran probably adam is you and your cutout on abrams that we'll, we'll we'll come to later so let's rattle on through in motion so by now 
High Torque. Yeah, so the High Torque is coming. I coming. Mean, they are releasing now, yeah. So that means they've, they've hopefully solved their uh, MOSFET problem um, because we have like the wheel in the reel. I mean, so. they confirm that there are different MOSFETs. We don't know which one. Okay, so we'll wait until we do a teardown, but hopefully all good. Um, Begode. So, any news on Begode? The well, the master, the ma okay, the master everyone's waiting for, but has, has it made an appearance anywhere yet, apart from the videos no. that we've seen? No, it's still in China. No one in the US or Europe have received anything. So, no one's written it? No. Okay. Outside China, no. Okay, King Song. Um, King Song, they, uh, they receive all the feedback from us and from everyone else. And they said that they are doing some changes on the final production model. On the S20. We don't know what And there is, uh, obviously, there is a COVID lockdown in China, in some of the parts of China again. So I think they released some statement that there might be a little delay because of that. But yeah. I think they yeah. should be coming back next week. Yeah, but the factory, com the factory com done. Sorry. Complete Shenzhen is shut down. Yeah, it's yeah, shut down. That's right. Right. Well, yeah. So the uh, pre-order, the factory that made the batteries for Kingston also was shut down by, because of COVID outbreak. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Um, anything else? No. I mean, we have this kind of. I don't know. If you have seen it, guys. This fat tire. EUC oh, I saw that. I mean, that it was running around on the. the or Orion, Orion. Or yes, yeah. something yeah. like that. Yes. Big, eh? Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, you know, I... 24 inches, but real inches. Yes. Real, real inches, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not the feet inches. It's like riding around on a tree trunk, you know, it's so big. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's a Batman that, wheel, isn't it? Let's face it. It's, it's, the same, <laughs> it's the same guy that did the yes. ratio wheel. Oh, seriously? What the yeah, same I think, dude? I the same so. guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One... Same guy. No, I, I don't think so. I think that's from uh, um, Yaromir. Uh, I think that's from either Ukraine or Russia. And I might be wrong, and that will be very bad consequences. Okay. So I'll say both. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I think, I think it's Baidu. No, Baidu. Uh, uh. Baidu is Retio Wheel. But this well, is the... something else. This is Orion. This is like it has all of the batteries inside of the motor. Oh, really? Oh, so maybe, yeah. maybe there okay. are two. Maybe there okay. are two oh, different. Oh, my ones. God. We will okay. we'll look it up and add it to, <laughs> add it to video. Well, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> right. So, okay. So that kind of concludes the news, but then sort of neatly segueing um, in from that. Sorry, go on. We missed something. Nope. Okay. Nope. So, so yeah, just to, so getting back to Lipa Kim and this cutout um, that really forms the basis of this show. So we want to explore cutouts kind of like our reaction to the manufacturer's reaction to them, what the problem is. We brought Ula, uh, Ula along um, for a little bit of technical support so he can kind of um, run us through kind of like what's actually going on and what the problem is. And, you know, and also um, we're going to do a bit of blue sky thinking to see what possibly, you know, could happen in the future, which isn't necessarily Ula's favorite subject, I know. But we're going to try and do it anyway. <laughs> okay. So, Adam, let's start with you. <laughs> so, um, right. So, what happened? Let's let's just take it from the top. Yeah. So essentially, uh, it was my well, it was my last ride on the veteran Abrams. I um, I just went out with it, and I wanted to cruise uh, through some villages, just some essentially high speed but not high acceleration, uh, riding through villages on the street, basically on the street. And I was, uh, since I know 100% to like 80% battery, maybe something like that, I was usually riding 70, 60 kilometers an hour. I mean, 70 just at parts, but mostly around 60 or 60 plus kilometers an hour. Uh, and I went like that for maybe 30, maybe 40 kilometers. And I recorded my video. And then I wanted to go back home. And I was afterwards, I knew I have like, I know, 65, something like that, percent battery. I know that the Abrams can go around about 100 kilometers. And of course, it depends on the riding style. So uh, I decided I'll go back, I'll ride a bit slower, um, i.e., 50, 60, uh, around that. And 
while I was riding, I think the voltage, I mean, when stand still, the voltage was around 90 volts, something like that, uh, 89. And I was just riding 55 kilometers an hour constantly. And on a bump, the wheel just, I guess it didn't really cut out. It is sort of like an over lean almost. It's uh, the fact that the wheel couldn't deliver the power to stay upright, essentially. So the pedals just dipped and I fell. And the wheel stayed on. Um, there was no like error message about HAL sensors. And uh, yeah, I just fell at 55 kilometers an hour. And to say where I'm coming from is that with wheels like the, I don't know, EXN, like the uh, Monster Pro even, uh, all of like, HS wheels uh, never had the issue with those sort of like battery states and those sorts of speeds um, with cutouts. So essentially that's what happened. The bump, by the way, was tiny. It was pretty much non-existent. It was like, you know, this much. Uh, and I tried to we also like... Um, find the video. Um, yes. How, how to call it, like... I bent my knees a little. I tried to like make the bump smaller and then like it just, just fell down. So, okay, so so the so the bump case. was like a like about fifty mil deep, the impression. Yeah, something like that or even less. So all right, so okay, a couple of inches as we say over here. Yeah. Um so so not nothing nothing outrageous. I think I said, well hopefully we'll run the V T somewhere down there or wherever so you can see yeah. it. I mean it, it looked really minor. I mean, yeah, it wasn't yeah. an aggressive bumper tour or a pothole. We have way yeah, worse no, in the UK. Really minor. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So look, one one thing. So did, you said sixty percent battery, sixty yeah. percent after sag, or before sag? No, that's the thing. Before sag, uh, the, and the voltage was also before sag. Now the problem with both Galway and Veteran wheels and their boards is that they their calculation of voltage is always a bit off on, on the mm. boards. And what I noticed, on, <laughs> on, particularly on the Abrams is, like on the Sherman, if you accelerate, you know, like a couple bars can go down, right? Uh, and if you accelerate on the Abrams, it's like gone. It's the, the, the voltage sags, at least what's shown on the app, which probably is not true, uh, are proportionally bigger. So with sag, I would say maybe oh. it would show 30%, something like that. How many kilometers were I you into the guess. ride? It... And one second, let's just get the facts and then we can we can speculate. How many kilometers were you from 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 full charge? I think around. Um, you know what? I, I I think I can check that. I think it was around uh, forty <coughs> kilometers, something like that. Forty, maybe maybe fifty tops. So that's 50, 50 kilometers of hard ride. Let's go worst case. So we're talking yeah. about a wheel that can do sixty kilometers. But you've done you've done fifty kilometers of hard riding, so I think we can safely not say not mostly, not mostly, not okay. all the time. But the beginning was uh, pretty chill, I would say. What's the range that you're getting on the Abrams? It's Sixty. Like, uh, I'm getting like hundred kilometers. No, oh, you're getting hundred kilometers. Yep. yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, hundred kilometers. Uh, what hard riding, Adam, or hundred at sort of like Marty. usual? Sometimes going fast, sometimes going slow. Just just as with other wheels, like with constant high speeds, definitely less. I don't know how much because I never tested it, but just like my usual thing is uh, around 100 kilometers. And you weren't you weren't riding it especially hard at this time. I was I wasn't riding hard the first 10 kilometers, I would say. And I was just riding like 30, 40 tops. But during the filming, you were pushing it a bit harder. Yeah, okay. exactly. So that brings it down a bit. Let's face it, but still. I mean, you the... sort of, you, you, you sorted them on uh, Facebook, mm. which were pretty interesting. There were, it doesn't look like hard pushing. Uh, in the end, you were pretty much on the same level, 55. Yeah, yeah. As you I, have the, I have the, actually, the graphs here. They're like, yeah. uh, like this. Okay. The constant. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Yeah. And you said so when you when you experienced the cut up, were you accelerating at the time into the bump, or were you just sort of at no, a constant speed? No, not at all. Actually, I was keeping a constant speed, maybe even slowing down a bit, which is weird because usually cutouts happen if you 
accelerate. Uh, but here, I think the thing that really caused it was the huge uh, bump in power draw that the high speed motor needs mm. when you have like a, just a sudden burst of torque needed, uh, which is a bump. And so you experienced, exactly. I mean, when I, when I cut out yeah. on the Nick, it was like, suddenly I was yeah. suddenly I'm like, the pedals aren't reacting. You know what I mean? Mm. It's like, as, as Ulla says, it's like, you know, the whole, the motherboard's intention is to keep the pedals level. And suddenly I'm like, whoa, why am I sort of leaning forward? And it was like, yeah. you know, was it a bit like that, that suddenly you sort of found yourself going well, it over? It was pretty instant. It was like, whoop, and you're down. So there was no floating yeah. sensation. It just, you just no, kind no, of went was, straight over. It, but, it you said, wet, but, but you said that not... the wheel was fine. The wheel didn't turn on, turn off. off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which is weird. Coming. And you Smart. go back home right in the road. Went 45 also at some point. So <laughs> there you go. Ula, Ula, what's your take on that? How come, what, what's your, why, it, can you speculate as to why the wheel didn't shut down? Because if there was a cutout, how because come the power remained on? When you're, yeah, that's the question. When your Nick cut out, uh, at which speed? Oh, it was uh, about 50 kilometers an hour. Okay, and battery? About 70%. Was it a 84 volt thing? No, 100 volt Nick. Oh, wow. But, so we think that there was a fault on the battery. Yeah. Right. So I think that's probably what caused that one. But this, we'll come back to that. But in terms of this one. Yeah, interesting question also. Uh, did it turn on afterwards? It never turned on. Turn the Nick. On. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it turned on. Had an external. Yeah, yeah. Then uh, my speculation for both cases would be uh, with, with the typical high speed, so called high speed cutouts. Mm. Yeah. Um, um, perhaps Adam. Perhaps Adam can agree uh, when he says sixty percent battery. I would get. Yes, and he did that. The uh, Abrams has a lot more voltage drop and. I would agree, just because it's a much bigger wheel, it has much more voltage drop than the smaller German. That's totally normal, because bigger wheels need much more power. And when you have a voltage drop, you don't drive around with 60%, even if you have. <laughs> the voltage sack goes so much down, it can be 20 to 30%, and then 55 kilometers, he said it'll be too much. And then the bump is just getting the voltage down just two, three volts more altogether. And then <laughs> there you are going. <laughs> and exactly, I think with uh, the Nick, the Nick uh, actually isn't a high speed wheel. Um, well, the Nick's capable of 40 miles an hour and it was showing 70%. Yeah, also it, C30, right? Uh, no, it's before that. It was just 100 volt. I think it was before the high torque stuff. Right, yeah, the motor, I mean, the motor is also the like the MSX. I think it's the C30. Oh. The high speed. The magnet it, it, Yeah. So you did 50 kilometers per hour. Yeah, it was. It shouldn't have. There's no way. Oh, wow. it, was, it was. It was within the performance envelope. I was. It was, it was a very slight incline, but nothing to speak of. I wasn't pushing it. I knew the speed because I was holding EUC World at the time. And I was just kind of cruising yeah, back to the, you know. That, that most people don't um, take into account when you drive a wheel already at 50, at 50 or over 50 kilometers. Um, you have a voltage stack all time. Um, there is so much wind resistance alone. And you said you have an incline all so, uh, This all makes the voltage stack and more, sorry, my, my English, when, when the voltage goes down, then uh, the less max high speed you can achieve. Mm. And um, that's the typical high speed cutout, really. Absolutely typical. Okay. In my I, view. In I, my view, you, you ask for my view. Okay, sure. I mean, I think in, the, in, the, in this case of the Nick, I know that it was a bit of a knockabout wheel and it was carrying a battery full. So I think possibly what happened is that, that, that there was some kind of loose connection on one of the on, 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 on the cells or, or part, of the, part of the battery pack. 
and it just sh shorted out at that moment. So suddenly I lost a chunk of battery and then, yeah, you know, high speed cut out. But at 70%, I was watching the sag order. Uh, so I was literally that, like this watching you, it. When, when you really uh, do you have the diagrams too, then you should see it in the, the diagram. When, when you say you think you lost uh, a battery pack, you would see it definitely. Because if you, uh, I mean, you would see it in the diagrams, because then the uh, voltage sag would be much higher and that would be even more a cause for high speed cutouts. The, the max speed is only, only, really only defined by voltage. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, okay. So look, just moving on from this then, you know, I mean, look, I mean, it's kind of, it's, it, it sort of alludes to part of the problem as far as I'm concerned. It's like, I think we need to get to a place where, I mean, Nikos was talking about this, like maybe some kind of like, you know, black box on the board that if you have an incident like this, it, it, there's a trace and it can tell you exactly what happened rather than speculating. It can basically just record the last, you know, 60 seconds before the incident and then tell you exactly what happened. That'd be great. Yeah. That'd you know, great. that would be, yeah, I agree. That would be really great. Okay, so uh, I mean, actually, you only need to run UC World or Darkness Spot, and you have those graphs. Yes. At least so you can get a bit of a knowledge what happens. No? Yeah. Also, al always the fact if the wheel is working afterwards directly or not can tell you something about what happens. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But how come, so the Nikola so, turned off, how come the, the Abrams didn't shut down? I think it was just like, as far as I was like speculating, uh, I think that because there is also like no uh, temperature sensor, both in the motor or in the battery in the Abrams. And I think hauling it through this longer, um, um, I don't know, straight, longer distances might have, might have made the motor also warm it's more resistance i also put a new tire on it which is heavier so that might be a bit more resistance too and then I, the, yeah Ulla? yeah i just uh, this is a very good point yeah i so, want to ask how long you were driving and uh when the motor gets warm the magnets get weak yeah the resistance gets bigger and that can also be a point the, yeah the resistance yeah yeah bigger, so that's also a point which yeah, so make... I was riding like that, but I was also making sort of short breaks when I was going slower. But I don't know if that was enough time to cool off um, uh, the the Abrams. So yeah. um, the 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 batteries that are in the Abrams they're also high capacity. They're not high discharge. So the lower the voltage of those batteries, the more prone they are to not sort of deliver the performance they wanted. So. Across the board, in all wheels that we use now, we have high capacity wheels instead uh, batteries instead of high uh, discharge wheels. <laughs> uh, I mean, batteries. Sorry, <laughs> mm. that would perform better in those uh, circumstances. So I think what happened there essentially is that the limits set on the software on the Abrams are just way too high compared to what's actually safe to ride because. I can ride on a Sherman any day of the week, 60 with 50% battery, it'll be fine. I, I rode the Monster Pro at 0% battery going 50. So <laughs> I think just how the Abrams is laid out, both through software, the combination of batteries and uh, motor, along with a extended discharge with, uh, in general, um, higher amounts of current flowing through over a longer time, which leads to more heat, uh, then it's just more prone to cutouts. Okay. And, and quite a lot of them already happened at 70%, totally. at 90%. Totally. Yeah. And as you said, there's no temperature. So, you know, so what you're saying is that even if, if it was heating up to the point where we never know, you, you know, and the wheel doesn't know, so the wheel can't even warn you that, exactly. you know, and I, yeah. I think this is, this yeah. is what I'm, I'm trying to get to. And I know Uli, Ulla, you, you, you kind of agree with this, that 
the warning systems that we have yeah. on these wheels are just not yeah. adequate. And Especially we need to... on veteran and bigger. Right. Because on in motion, King Song, there's a bit more of that. I mean, I feel yeah. like I'm flying blind. I mean, honestly, like these days <laughs> when I get on a wheel, I feel like a pilot with, 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 with no instruments. You know, yeah. and it's like, yeah. well, I mean, yeah. you're lucky if you know how fast you're going, let alone like, you know, anything that's happening, in, you know, on, on the board or in the battery or on the motor. So yeah. any, anyway, let's come let's come back to that. So, look, let's talk about very, very quickly and let's not get bogged down in, in too much tech. So right. why cutouts happen and the differences. So Rob's written this little line, which I like. It's either lack of volts or an excess of amps. So it's a lack of volts in the battery. You haven't got enough power to kind of deliver, to deliver to the motor to keep the thing level. Or basically you're asking too much. You're overleading, overpowering the wheel, and the wheel goes, nah. And or, you, you or, blow the motor. Yeah. And then you blow the motor. So the, the kind of the lack of volts will be more the example that we were talking about now. The, what happened with the Abrams, stuff like that. Now, and the excess of arms will be like you blow the MOSFETs. Halfway, I agree halfway. Uh, to this sentence because the lack of amps, yeah? If no, no, excessive amps, excess. Amp, that's, uh, <laughs> Sorry, yeah, Ula, yeah. Ula, Ula, Ula ex excessive amps. amps. Yeah, if you use excessive amps, then uh, then it's just bringing it down. And the voltage is the reason why the motor cuts out. Not, not, not so much the excessive amps, yeah? You can blow that through excessive amps, especially it's uh, very easy, yeah? But um, why it cuts out, and that's also why it's called high-speed cutout, is um, the missing voltage. And excessive amps means missing voltage. When you really draw a lot of capacity from those batteries, they directly go down. They have a, a method of 4.2 volts. But if you draw even the what they are rated for, they directly go down 0 0.6 volts. You're going from 4.2 to 3.6 volts in, in a second, just just by pulling the allowed amount of uh, amps. And when you go over this allowed amount of amps over the envelope for what the battery is developed, then you even drop much further. You, you can bring a better, you can bring a, a wheel, a battery, directly from 4.2 volts to, to the end, to 3.3 volts, where, where they normally would have been on zero, if you understand me. Mm -hmm. Sorry if I'm not... Yeah. No, we understand. Um, okay, but just, just to pull you up on that slightly, Ulla. So, talking about the InMotion V12, Okay, yeah. so we've got a wheel with a hundred percent battery. The battery's full. Um, someone takes it out and basically pushes it, and it blows a FET and then cuts out and, and fries the yeah. motherboard. So I think that's what we, we mean when we sort of talk about excessive amps. Is is that we're not talking about a situation where there wasn't enough power in the battery? Ah, Old okay, yeah, yeah, right. Okay. Um, um, <laughs> this, uh, the perfect example for. I would never call motion even uh, perhaps when the high torque comes out. Yeah, then call it a performance wheel. Until now, in motion are not. They are using MOSFETs, which the company is have thrown away 2017. They are using just so small MOSFETs. They are not capable of. Uh, if, if a high weight rider goes up a hill and pushes Ben, then or it overheats. It's not that the other companies have experienced that also. Yeah, yeah I'm we, we in got into this in like, a previous uh, six, seven years. Uh, and I had a, a Kingsong 18L that had the last small MOSFETs, and with my weight, I feel it's direct. I, I even uh, modded it, it and made new holes in it just for <laughs> for better ventilation. Yeah, mm -hmm. the emotions until now had these small MOSFETs, and 
I don't know what was in their mind when they bring out um, especially the beach world. With, well, we, uh, we found uh, out. I mean, it was a MOSFET that they've used on, uh, on lots I, of wheels. And they their own data rather than the manufacturer's data yeah. suggested that it could handle it. And, and, and basically they think because of the semiconductor shortage that they experienced a loss of quality, yeah. which resulted in the problem. But look, without kind of getting back into that, just sort of going back to what we're saying. So that was a case where ultimately the FETs couldn't handle the amps. So it was an excessive amp. So, that, that, so, so, so anyway, we've got broadly those two issues. But just one thing that's interesting yeah. here. So are other wheels vulnerable to excess? Because I think we, we were talking about like Gotway. And I think what happened, I think the MSP was experiencing cutouts. And so Gotway then to, 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 to solve that problem effectively allowed the motherboard to pull as much amps out the battery as it needed even but you know you could damage the battery but i think yeah, other well, manufacturers have got fuses haven't they so other manufacturers don't allow you to do that yeah exactly uh, that's exactly the yeah. problem on, on base they allow you to to pull pull and pull you are much over the allowed envelope for the battery the battery chemical um gets damaged. damaged yeah and then what yeah yeah really and you yeah. can't yeah. see it and you will never know Even okay smart being right and it, it you will never know so interesting idea here just just comes, okay it, just it, it, then comes the potential fire which we, we we all know about sorry to sort yeah. of hurry you along here but just exploring this kind of thread so yeah. if so if, for example, because I quite like that idea, quite frankly, if I'm doing like 50, 50 miles an hour on a wheel and I need power from the battery, I kind of want my health to be prioritized over the health of the wheel. I mean, call me crazy, but I don't particularly want a sort of face plant to, to protect the battery. But what I want to happen afterwards is I want the wheel to tell me, look, there's been an event, you know, you've damaged the battery, you need to get the wheel to a workshop and be really careful about it. And, and a smart BMS system could potentially do that for us. So if you had a gotway with, without the fuse, it's fitted with a smart no. BMS. Well, why I mean, not? There, it's only a way to prevent that. Uh, because once you damage it, it's really difficult to A, find what's damaged, B, test regularly what is really in the cell chemistry and C, it's utterly expensive to change a cell or change a BMS and difficult. Well, as a smart yeah. BMS, I mean, if that happens, uh, yeah. that block of that cell will take longer to charge, it will charge less, it will be unbalanced. So having a smart BMS, you can see if any of the blocks is no behaving funny. No. Well, surely no, you'd I mean, be able to no. look at the volts, wouldn't you? You can see the volts and you can see the no, temperature. No, no, no. I mean, you can't check the cell chemistry. That's one thing. You could potentially see over yeah, a long time if there is really a dead cell or something like that, if it's not charging to 100%. But it only goes along with the safety in the software that doesn't allow, uh, in the first place, to pull that many amps for the battery. Yeah, and another exactly. interesting thing is uh, cold weather. Like, we all keep riding in cold weather. Mm. Batteries, if you look at the LG cells, if yeah. they're at zero degrees Celsius, really they have efficient. totally different yeah. uh, you know, characteristics for safety use. So, you know, when I ride in the winter, I ride care carefully, but not everyone knows that. And it's easier to damage such cells if you really ride hardcore. <laughs> if they're at like, On if point. you just like left the wheel outside for, I don't know, an hour because you just made a rest. Uh, you have a King Song S18, for example, and it has like the metal shell and really keeps the uh, batteries cold. And you could uh, just power through it. It's also dangerous to the chemistry. So I think what really needs to happen is to have all of those preventive systems and the smart BMS along with that. OK, but getting back sense. to this idea that you don't particularly yeah. want the wheel shutting down on you because you're about <laughs> to damage the battery. Uli, is yeah. there absolutely no way, so if, if, you, if there was an event and potentially you damaged the chemistry of the cells, is there no symptom? Is there no, no. There's, there's nothing that you can do objectively to work out that a cell's been damaged? Exactly, exactly 
it's exactly like uh, Adam said, perhaps over the long way, you see, uh, and, and you must really monitor it yourself. Um, you have to look, okay, um, I accelerate, and then you look at the side more, more in, in one part in, in, in one part of the cell. You even in a smart EMS, you don't monitor one cell. Uh, you monitor a, a pack of yeah. cells. Yeah. You can't yeah, check the individual cells. cells. You yeah. can't even do that in Teslas. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. No, no. Yeah, you can measure the exactly. resistance. You can measure the resistance of a cell. It has the velocity of resistance of a set. Of a, of a cell or one cell, yeah, you, know, you can measure uh, that, but the VMS not, don't do that. No, no, not really. No. Yeah, you 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 can you can uh, the resistance, but it's not accurate. Absolutely not accurate. Okay. Yeah. It's uh, so so uh, inside damaged cell, the smart VMS. Sorry, it can't detect it. And if we are on that point, and that's adenosis. Uh, it's especially on gut waste. They allow to pull as, uh, how much? Yeah, the problem in gut waste. How much? Oh. And this, uh, it, it made the cell defect. And then on a sunny, fine day, when you uh, <laughs> thinking on the blue clouds, uh, then finally it made boom, and one cell went away. And you think, what happened now? I have done nothing wrong. No, that happened. Uh, right, I get uh, it. Three three months before, three months before or something. Okay. You know? and, and and there are companies which try to prevent that. King Song and Emotion have detection of uh, max amperage. They know they use better can deliver continuously ten amps. So uh, with a six P system or 4P system, you can have 40 or and they, with the motherboard, don't try to go over it. It's for a short period, but not for longer. Then you get um, a very beep or even a tilt back if you try to overpower one of those wheels. So you have no chance to overpower the battery. That's, in my view, the right way. Unfortunately, <laughs> riders don't want this. Yeah, they want all this unbelievable power. And uh, okay, when well, now Godway is the master, is giving us the chance to order better and much, much more food cells, could also be a game changer. Yeah, because it will be difficult to to um, to damage a cell like a. Okay, well, we're coming. Uh, All right. Amazon 40T. Okay. Mark, they, I they, also wanted they to give four times the power. Yeah. Sorry, Mark, go I on, also Adam. really wanted to really quickly address your thing that um, for a brief moment, like a burst of power could uh, save you. Technically, more capacitors could help with that a bit. And uh, the biggest hurdle, sort of, in the. Um, discharge of batteries is like a long haul. So mm. potentially for just like a brief moment right. to just like throw the wheel in front of you and put the tilt back on, yeah. that might be might be a good thing. Well, I've been thinking about that, but that brings us quite neatly, another segue, I'm getting quite good at this shit. Nice, um, nice. So, so, okay, so me and Ulla, Ulla had a, a, a big old sort of, um, that's a sort of an exchange of um, ideas a frank exchange of ideas, I should say, about how you could possibly avoid. So what, what could manufacturers do to avoid this? So my, look, my, my, my viewpoint on this is really, really simple. We, we all love this. We all love wheels. And it's got bigger, and the wheels have got faster. They've got more capable. I honestly believe that unless we convince these manufacturers to get a handle on this problem, we could lose the whole thing. I think we're playing high stakes poker and the stakes have gone up and they've gone up and they've gone up. I think now we're in a position where somebody could have a serious accident and it could be absolutely the fault of the wheel and it could be a lot, a big old public law case, lawsuit, and it could kill the whole thing. 
So my attitude is, and Ula, I, I take your point. I understand that you're frustrated because, you know, we people like us, we demand faster and faster wheels. And, and ultimately, the manufacturer's just going, well, hey, you asked for more, more power, we're going to give you more power. But hey, you know, obviously, there's a risk. My attitude is I don't think really a lot of these guys understand the risk. They just, they're just not, they're not aware. They live in a world where they get a car from BMW and if yeah. it says it does 150 yeah. miles an hour, it does 150 miles an yeah. hour. And they yeah, don't right. understand what they're dealing with here, right? So I think that right. somehow we need to use the community to convince the manufacturers to, I mean, you know, that's why I was so excited with the V12 and so surprised that everyone went, yeah, whatever. I mean, for me, it was like, hang on, this wheel's waterproof and it has like loads of safety tech and it's, it's, not, it's not trying to kill you every minute, you know. And so, and everyone sort of went, meh, for a bit. Although I, I think that actually it's a really great wheel once they solve the problems, it's going to be more popular. Um, so, so this is it. It's like, well, what can, we, what can we do to convince these manufacturers? What can the community do? And, and what ideas have we got that they should do to avoid this problem? Because as far as I'm concerned, it needs to be trace. So basically, the times that say you're cut out, Adam, that should yeah. not happen. It just yeah. shouldn't happen. There should have been warnings. If the wheel was, was vulnerable, you should have been warned about it. You were well within the performance envelope. It's saying you got 60% battery. You're well within the top speed. You hit a small bump. No. And I think as a community, we've just got to go back to Leaperkim and say, guys, that's just not acceptable. You know? So, think, yeah. so Ula, look, you obviously out of all of us around this table, yeah. you're the guy that you know has the experience and 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 you know every, everybody's going to listen to you when you say this is how we could fix it and i know your big thing is quality components and basically a brunel brunelian engineering over engineering the over engineer the components so if you think it needs 50 give it 100 that's how brunel built all his bridges right and and so if we can't if we can't solve this problem with science and tech then the only way to do it is to solve this problem by building, quite frankly, a fuck off bridge. Love what? bridges. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. <laughs> yeah. So, Uli, what do you think? That's mostly my point, yes. <laughs> yeah, we talked about it before, um, and I'm still on this point. There is technically is <laughs> no chance to. Uh, well, well. Look, we are talking in the... High-speed cutter. You, 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 you. Okay, first, you, then. We are talking about yeah. individual parts. So we talk about the cells. We recognize and we agree that better cells, more discharge power will help. What else we need? So let's take this, let's... So there are new well, motors. That, so we need a new motor. We need technology for motors with more sensors, so high-precision hole sensors to really read where the motor is at any moment so it can have more time to react. Uh, does EUC need some processing power? Does it have a processor to process all this or no? Yeah, of course it does. Can we improve individually every part? Yeah. Which way do you want to go? This is so... Uh, yeah, uh... You Adam, start with a low hanging fruit, don't you? Allgemein, Adam. Sag mal, allgemein. Ich sag mal, allgemein. <laughs> right. Uh, I think that the biggest hurdle we have now is that this is a new sport. And we are sadly all learning along the way. And if people will see 70 kilometers an hour for, I don't know, $2,000, they'll buy it because nobody will told, tell them not to, essentially. Mm -hmm. As a community, of course, we can push, we can you know, say that this is wrong, but as much as it hurts me to say, if there are low, no regulations in place, if there is no like um, general testing, general testing devices that, or, or some, in German, Richtlinien, uh, I, I don't know what's the word in, in, in English. Uh, guidelines. Guidelines. Uh, right, how right, to, right way. Okay. Like what, pro, what, pro, pro, what proportion of battery, what proportion of motor or heat 
is necessary to keep such a device safe, that this will keep on happening, sadly, as, as much as I hate it. If I can say, uh, you know, isn't it with the Kingsong S20, that's a 126 volt wheel, yeah. which has the extra headroom in order to mm. give you the safety, but, you know, and the wheel is uh, limited to 70 kilometers per hour at the moment in order to give you the extra space, you know, so you don't mm. go, you don't go beyond the dangerous border, but already people want it to be unlocked to higher speed. Mm. So we are actually at the community as, as, as well, it's to blame because people always want to go to the always edge, to the board. limits. Yeah. 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 That's the problem. So well, but with the S20, even though well, it's 126 volts, it's just four parallel packs. That's also yeah. not, not the best solution. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's, yeah, I didn't really yeah, want to go into the S20 cutouts because they're still working on it. It's still sort of that yeah. prototype stage. But I was really yeah. surprised when it started cutting out. I mean, you I know, the, the veteran whole... Sherman, yeah, yeah. we had Perhaps prototypes of the I Sherman, can... no cutouts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, perhaps uh, I can <laughs> say something from my knowledge from Kingston. Yeah, they're always late on the firmware, really, always. They, they bring a new wheel and um, they, in contrary to Godway, they really design a wheel. You know, each of each of the wheels from Kingston is uh, it, it, it's absolutely purpose different made. from, it is purpose made, it, it's uh, different from the other, the board is especially made, everything, yes. Yes, no, actually right. from Kingston uh, we so have a... Uh... high quality, but... But wait, 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 please, please. But yes, they are very late, always on the server. We have these problems with the 18L. We have these problems with the 16X. Yeah. And we, we, now, we now have it with the S20. Um, some, you can even, uh, have the same problems. We had vibrating over 40 kilometer on the 16X. 16X, we had vibrating on the first firmware now on the S20, and they uh, fixed it very fast. But that's where they um, are hanging behind a bit. Uh, um, since the prototypes or pre-production wheels were delivered, I guess three three firmwares and two battery uh, uh, firmwares already had out, and I guess we were feasible. And then I really think cutouts will be no thing anymore because normally you see that that's a high safety margin, 70 kilometers per hour when the wheel is able to do 110 kilometers on. on, on mm. Yeah, it's a massive on, margin, on, on isn't it? Yeah. So this could you, just you, be you a software issue, couldn't that, it? Basically, you would not see saying. this on a on, on a Godway, yeah. Uh, so. Um, they really have a different philosophy. Well, well, this is this is, I think, what needs to they, change. They try, you know, they, 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 they try to let the user and ride the, not even near the point of a cutout, and that's why when the battery goes to fifty percent, they slow down the speed, and uh, even more than any other company. Yeah. So. so uh, but then you have the, the haters on the internet who say, hey, it's crap. No, it's not. It's quality. Uh, uh, I see it this way. You can say, oh, okay, uh, I'm just a uh, King Song fanboy. No, I, <laughs> you can look at him at my home. I have uh, EXN and uh, a King Song, uh, one from each, and I have a new uh, Godway order on the way. Uh, not on the way, but order already. Uh, it, it's just you, you need quality and good, really good um, uh, and ranges of safety. Yeah. Adam, uh, maybe maybe you use it. Uh, you know that some people put uh, high capacitors in between battery yeah. and uh, they the feedback is always like they, they feel that the pedals are more solid, especially yeah. on Godway, and was yeah. that's why they use it for off road and stuff like that. Mm. Will will one of these but bigger help? I didn't ever try them. I'm not 
So, no um, good in electronics, but I guess a bigger headroom for like those bursts of energy would be good. I mean, we're, we keep on coming back to that point, and I think that you know, Ulla, Ulla, that, that that's your your take on this. Effectively, it's about headroom <laughs> and, yeah. and and making sure that we're not sort of like running right up to the edge of the envelope, which is obviously mm. dangerous when effectively it's a flying yeah. machine and you're going to fall out the sky if the thing goes on you. So, yeah, all right. I mean, let's let's let's, let's leave that one there. I think. I mean, I, I think look, the other thing I think we should talk about. I call it like protocol. So this, I had this idea, like, well, Nikos and I had this idea. What if there was a community-based website that effectively acted as a, we all promote it and it records cutouts. So its sole purpose is, and we, all, the, all the sellers, all the YouTubers say, look, guys, you have a cutout, go to this address and you record it. The manufacturers, there's basically a feedback point where the manufacturers look at it and they go, right, give us the log tell us what happened, you upload everything you can, and the manufacturers feedback and say, right, that was because you're a dick, or, you know, words to that effect. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, but there might be one or two, like your Good one idea. or my one, where they Good. kind of say, well, wait a minute, something, something else is there. It could be a design flaw, like the V12. And so there's this protocol where we're always reporting back, and the manufacturers have to deal with it. So they can't just kind of sweep it under the carpet and go, oh, yeah, no, it's fine, everything, which is, you know, which a few of them, let's face it, are prone to do. But actually, as a community, <laughs> right, you know, we, we basically that's demand a response. How they, that's actually how they do it today. Right? Yeah. Because <laughs> I heard a lot of talk, um, when people have unexpected cutouts that it's good under under the floor by giving the user a new uh, a new wheel or pay his repair or whatever so that it stays quiet so uh, the idea is good no question I, I really like it um, what comes to mind very often is look we 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 find we together, we are all, I say, freaks. Uh, we love oil. It's our EUC. We love EUC hobby. It's, uh, we do time. We love it. The normal user, it's a question if he ever will get knowledge about it and, and write something into this, you know? And if he also, even understands about what we are talking about today. Well, I know? guess the that, normal user, uh, yeah. that, the, well, the normal emotion user doesn't think about things or things what we talk to today. He doesn't even make his mind up about it. No, but let's say uh, this idea of the protocol is perfect and the, the black box also. Yeah, it's Great. I guess you know, like Great. Ula, you mentioned, you saying that you know that uh, loads of people they don't know about these issues and the danger. So I guess that brings us to the point that yeah. there, there should really be the headroom, you know, from the manufacturer. They should be the wheels should be over engineered. Yeah, and uh, it shouldn't be possible yeah. to it shouldn't be possible unlock it. Look, you know, uh, well, this, well, this is it. So because... that should be main suggestion from today, I guess. Because yeah. we can't demand that, that, that people know the tech. It's like, look, if some if some kind of like, you know, social media star decides to buy a Bugatti Byron and takes it out on the Autobahn and, and pegs it at like 250 miles an hour, then, yeah. you know, th there's absolutely no way that that guy has any idea of the physics that kind of got in there. But, you know, he kind of expects yeah. that the car's not going to self-destruct, you know even though you might wrap sure. it into a lamppost. So, and, uh, you know, yeah. ultimately, as an industry and a community, we need to protect ourselves. And the way to do that is to make sure that within a stated performance envelope, these wheels don't cut out. Yeah. You know, that, that, has to be the, that has to be the game plan, because otherwise we're vulnerable. We're completely vulnerable, which is where we are at the moment. That's a great point, Mark. And I think that on top of that, with your protocol, I think there should be a 
general protocol for all companies throughout that after a cutout upon connection with Bluetooth, it, because most of the time the wheel still works, um, you get the DAS data and it gets sent directly into the DAS database 100%. without thought, yeah. just streamlined, you know, so that even the users okay. that don't know about this will do it. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Um, yeah. Perfect. Well, and we end on, on, a, on a note of Concord. <laughs> Which is nice. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. Any, any, anybody got anything so else to add? Shall we do a little summary? What would be our suggestions? Suggestions? You want to, you want a sort of a YouTube summary? Ole, what's your perfect will? If you can build a will. Yep. We're not into for another hour. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. That's basic, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Regarding safety, what no, should it do? No, no, no. Um, um, I, I tell you uh, what I ordered. It's uh, I ordered myself a master um, because I want the high torque wheel. Um, for me, it's perfect because I uh, I'm no high speed guy at all. You know, I'm <laughs> absolutely happy with maximum. 30 miles, 50 kilometers per hour. Well, well you know. I really don't need. I, 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 I had a lot of wheels which drive much faster. I had the EX and high speed. I never, I, uh, very seldom even got over the 50 kilometers per hour. So uh, the master, the torque motor, and the, um, the spring for me does the job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The perfect wheel, if we talk about the perfect wheel, I just would like to make Godway adapting this, the same philosophy than uh, Kingston. Yeah. Having, uh, ha ha having uh, tilt bags and, and bigger safety margins, and not just some beeps you can't even hear when you are driving <laughs> 80 kilometers per hour. You have some beeps coming out of reveal. Are you kidding me? As last warning, mm. that's exactly to to your example from the Byron or whatever whatever you said. Uh, hello, yes, yeah, sure. The user can't know, but then beeps can't be the last measure. Uh, yeah. uh, yes. for, well, that that's uh, a whole nother podcast, oh, isn't it? The I'm warning right? systems. Yeah. You know, it's yeah, like yeah, we, we, it's they so need to work on it. Uh, must not know, yeah. So, so they have at least the tilt back must happen shortly before, mm -hmm. uh, um, for sure, be before the wheel cuts out. And that is possible, it is all possible. That's all possible. Warnings are possible. If, I mean, even these don't work if you have stupid users which at uh, 70 kilometers per hour lean in like Michael Jackson. Then then I was wrong. Then, then, <laughs> <laughs> then, then the warnings have, don't have a chance anymore to jump in. It's too late. Then you are drawing too much, too much power uh, uh, when you are already on the edge. Then warnings can't jump in anymore. You know. Yeah, look, I mean, there are always going to be guys out there that wrap themselves around a tree and there's not much yeah. that wheel manufacturers can do about yeah. that. But I think, look, we've covered, if you want, you know, in terms of a summary, I think, look, we, we need to kind of impress upon the manufacturers that this is more serious now and they need to take it more yeah. seriously. And we, as a community, yeah. I think we need to kind of get that message across. So, yeah, OK, let's think, we'll, we'll think about how we're going to, you know, do this website and the protocol issues. Um, and yeah, I guess we, we start a dialogue with the manufacturers, you know, great idea, great idea, really okay. great idea. Adam, you got point, anything to add? Point, pointing what? out the faults. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Adam, yeah. what you say, Mark? Anything to add? Um, yeah, I guess, uh, the only trouble is that people get sold on the performance, um, you know, how to sort of balance the fact that people will buy performance and they will take the other wheel, which is safer instead of 
the performance one. That's just like the sort of the people need to see that in the performance thing, there's so much danger. And with the other thing, mm -hmm. there's this much danger. This is up so, to us, isn't it? It's up to us. We yeah. need to, we need to yeah. push that message out. It has to be clear. Yeah. What are the dangers of cheaping out in certain aspects of design sure. or quality? For sure. Okay. Well, yeah, with, with that said, you know, uh, and I, I have to say, especially Adam's videos have gone this way. Yeah. Oh, for sure. In a very good direction. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Can, you, can, 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 I, can, I, can I get a <laughs> wrong way? Wrong <laughs> way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, for, for you guys uh, who are riding, you know, as we are still in the state of extreme sport, you know, and there are these dangers, you know, luring sure. there, please wear your helmet. Wear protection, you know, we are still seeing guys all, going. At all times. Yeah, and a good helmet, you know, I take an uh, example from Adam, he's al always wearing a uh, motorcycle helmet. Mm -hmm. Not always. Motorci well, <clears throat> you always have some helmet on, you have motorcycle always, jacket. That's true. And always full face. Knee pads and uh, gloves, you know, we are seeing guys who are doing 80 kilometers per hour without any helmet. It's like, it can, it, something can happen. You don't know, it's no. not up to you. you know? on, on, on another it's note, may, maybe, yeah. maybe don't just basically sort of like sling it out all over TikTok and 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 the socials for like a you know a cheap sale as well maybe oh oh that that hurt really i, yeah. I don't like it either no i know i mean look <laughs> i mean you know prop prop props to the dude he can obviously ride but like you know anything can happen for god's sake and it's like you know i don't want to be it's an inspiration sadly yeah yep yeah and we, you know, we know we know what the result of that can be, unfortunately. But there was quarters. this big clash back about against it. You know? There was loads of comments, yeah, uh, <laughs> criticizing it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, like yeah. hey ho. Anyway, I think that concludes uh, podcast always... number three, right? Four, four, four. <laughs> <laughs> Is it four? four. Oh shit! Four? Is, really? it? Is no. it no? It's three. I put four. We need to it's get three. our three. 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 Yeah, it's definitely three guys. Three, okay. <laughs> okay um Ulla, thanks so much for flying in and 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 for um and i you know i i, I do i do enjoy our, our little uh tete a tete even you know so thanks for having me uh i feel honored oh well hey no, no, we're on we're, we're on awesome to talk okay thank, thank adam, you adam lovely to see you as usual good to see you guys. everyone see you bye, -bye. bye bye take care bye 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 bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.